Hello and welcome to my channel Virgo. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon or Rising. Please watch them all as some videos will be completely um, resonating and others will only have a small amount of information relating to you. If you want a uh, reading with me, use the link below. So your Dory Virtue messages from the Angels card is Daniel. Daniel is helping you in your relationship, specifically marriage uh, and or family um arrangements this month. Now you're also dealing with um, siblings. Siblings this month and family this month uh, are needing your attention, you're nurturing. Someone may be extra needy this month or behaving childishly or stubborn uh, or you are and, and, and you want that from them. There is a nurturing um, this month that needs to be uh, shared. Uh, maybe someone's too afraid to make the first move. Uh, maybe someone's really stubborn. Uh, maybe they are having a hard time and um, act the martyr and don't want the help or don't ask for the help. Uh, you or them. Um, at your work, we do have the King of Cups, and this is uh, feeling rock solid in your job, your finances, your study. Uh, this is about dealing with authorities and feeling confident, feeling successful, because the King of uh, Cups is about emotional stability and feeling that confidence and feeling on top and getting that recognition from those uh, are higher than you, whether it be your bosses, your peers, or even um, your professors, if it's a society, your finances, good reviews, um, and feeling that emotional stability to do with your finances, your work, and your study. At home, this is going to be a lovely month. You're feeling that there's been celebrations, uh, you're entertaining, joyous times around the home, um, there's a, a creativity at the home, you might be having... Um, some kind of celebration in the home. Uh, you might buy a home, Virgo. Um, you might be having family in the home. That, well, that's what the celebration is. With your health, we do have uh, the Ten of Swords. Now, the Ten of Swords is about uh, your knees, bones, skin, and teeth. Um, but this is also about your back. So you could be having back pain. You could be having nerve pain. You could be having pins and needles. Now, if it's not to do with your back, uh, you're feeling laid out. Um, and to do with the areas that I just mentioned, you might need surgery. You might have um, waiting on pins and needles to hear the results of those things. Um, and you're not feeling, you're feeling pinned down. You're feeling restricted. You're, and you're feeling that there's... Um, you don't have the support. You just wish that you had the support that you need um, because it's just too much um, at, at the moment. With your love, we do have the Page of Swords. So the Page of Swords is about new love uh, or new energy in love. And this is, uh, you know, clarity and focus, new fresh beginnings. This is... Um, new energies in love, uh, all of those different things. So you might meet someone, as is Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, Virgo, who really makes you feel alive, makes you feel passionate, makes you feel, um, you know, excited. And, and you may get your hair done or try a new outfit, uh, get new clothes. Or maybe this is someone um, outside the realms of what you would normally date. Or maybe that you've got a relationship which has been a bit lackluster and something this month brings the energy and the love and a fresh new beginning. For your cards this month, we do have the Archangel uh, Michael who is giving you the strength and the courage to face your fears, to be able to make those life changes, to be able to heal um, and to be able to make you feel uh, whole. Now, Archangel Michael is the head of the so he's the strongest one and this month you're going to need that because you're feeling um, overburdened, you're feeling negative, you're feeling alone, you're feeling isolated and again this is to do with siblings uh, or family members um, where there is extra needing, uh, neediness or nurturing or that you just have to put a lot of your time and effort into them. Now we do have the dice and these are going to tell you the uh, place that you need to put uh, your risk in taking a chance in and that is four so again we're going on about the family and the home over and over again this month take a risk to communicate um, you've got a large focus on nurturing with your communication so you know friends that you feel are family family members um, people that you deal with about your family and you're taking a risk this month uh, or needing to take a risk and taking a chance on that family on that sibling on that friend 
on that lover to do with the domestic life. That's where you've got to put your efforts this month. So thank you so much for liking, sharing and subscribing to my channel. Be kind to you and those you love and I shall see you next month.